We have a passenger claiming to have an explosive device tried to enter the cockpit. Has been uh, overpowered by passengers. However, we try to land and have the device checked out. Incident happened on May 31, 2017, at the Melbourne International Airport, code Yankee Mike Mike Lima, Australia. A Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330-300, registration Niner Mike Mike Tango India, performing flight Mike Hotel 128 from Melbourne, Australia, to Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Whiskey Mike Kilo Kilo, Malaysia was climbing out of Melbourne when the crew stopped the climb and reported a passenger had attempted to intrude the cockpit claiming to have explosives with him. The aircraft returned to Melbourne for an overweight landing, vacated and taxied to an isolated area to be made by emergency vehicles and security forces. Uh, Terminus 128. 128 approach. We have a passenger claiming to have an explosive device tried to enter the cockpit has been uh, overpowered by passengers. However, we try to land and have the device checked out. Place 128, understood. And who has security uh, at the aircraft on arrival? Place 128, okay. Place 128, turn right, heading 090. Alright, heading 090, I want to hit 128. Place 128, say again your last comment about the uh, meeting on arrival. Uh, the security to meet us on arrival to apprehend the passenger. Place 128. Place 128. Vectors to position for the ILS from way 16. You turn to intercept in 30 seconds. Place 128. To confirm the cockpit is sterile. You have control. Sterile. Yes, we have control. Place 128. Thanks. Position two miles right of the localizer. Turn right. Heading 130 to intercept. All right. Heading 130. Yeah. Place 128, descent to 3000, cleared ILS runway 16. 3000, cleared ILS runway 16, please, yeah. 128. Malaysia 128, contact the tower 120, day small 5, they're aware of your condition. 0205, Malaysia 128. VAS Aviation has not been able to recover any more audio. If you happen to find any more information relating to this incident, please get in contact via VASAviation1 at gmail.com or leave a comment below.